So you've decided to try Linux. Good move! Most instructions on starting with Linux just tell you to download a CD and then boot from it. I'm going to show you how to do that in these next little videos. We're using Ubuntu GNU Linux because it's extremely popular, easy to use, and you can run it from the CD without installing while you first get used to it. We start at Ubuntu.com. The link is in the accompanying text. All you have to do is click on it. Then, download. Pick a download mirror in your part of the world. I'm in the United States. Desktop CD. This, the PC desktop CD, will run on virtually any computer that runs Windows. If you want to try it on an Apple computer, use this one. If you have an AMD 64 or similar, you may want to try this one, although I strongly advise you to use the basic one first. It works on my AMD 64 desktop. Click, wait a second, and then save to disk. We'll talk about ISO Recorder in a second. And here we are, downloading. This is a huge download. With my DSL internet connection, it will take between half an hour and an hour, depending on the server's speed. If you have a cable modem, it may be faster. If you have dial-up, I strongly suggest that you start your download before you go to bed at night and hope that it has finished by the time you get up in the morning. Meanwhile, let's look at ISO Recorder. This is a great little utility. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to download it. But you can with so little work that I don't even need to tell you how. It's your basic click-click Windows installation. Use the defaults. Don't worry about malware. I've tested it, and it's fine. Just make sure you use the right version. And if you scroll down on this page by the wonderful Alex Feynman who provides this to us, It'll tell you how to find out which version and pick the right one. One other thing to deal with while you're waiting for that giant download is your BIOS. Some computers come from the factory set so that they will boot from a CD-ROM in the drive. Some do not. If yours does not, you'll need to reset your BIOS so it can. This BIOS page contains the best instructions I've ever seen on learning how to do it in your computer and believe me they're all different so you need to figure out how to do it on your computer or go to the manufacturer and ask however this page will almost certainly step you through it meanwhile here's our download yep still going hum hum let's not wait for that let's stop this video here and pick up in the next video I'm Robin Miller for Linux.com and OSTG. Thank you.